now we are on our way to go look at some new furniture for our bedroom. I actually saw some Under furniture some. online. I saw a dresser and an armoire that I was really interested in ordering, but I was a little bit hesitant to order furniture off the internet that I didn't see in person because I've just heard some horror stories about that and I don't want to get something that looks like crap and then have Bill put it together and then it ends up looking terrible and I hate it. So we found a store that actually has it on display. So we're going to check it out. So once we get there, I will show you guys what it looks like. I hope it looks nice because I've been wanting to get a new dresser and armoire for a really long time. And then I also went ahead and went to Pier 1 Imports earlier this week and I ordered a couple of the bedside chests from the Hayworth collection because I love that collection. So kind of giving our bedroom a little bit of a makeover so I think I'll probably show you guys the before and after and you guys can see what it looks like. Okay here is the dresser we came to look at and then they also have the matching armoire that I was looking at right here. Okay, instead of the dresser, we decided to get this credenza instead because it's a little bit bigger and then the guy also said that you can get the louver doors for in the middle, so we're going with this instead of the dresser. I'm so excited. Look how gorgeous the clouds look today. They're so pretty. Today feels amazing. It is 64 degrees and kind of breezy out. It feels like a fall day. It's perfect sweater weather day. And right now we are going to Meyer. From Meyer, we just ended up finding one thing. We're buying another hydrangea. Look how pretty this one is. We're done shopping for the day and we're on our way home. I feel like today we had a really successful shopping day and today's just been a really fun day. We got the furniture for our bedroom. We stopped at Meijer and picked up a beautiful hydrangea and it ended up being $5 off. I think it was normally $25 when we got up to the register. It rang up for $5 cheaper, so that's always awesome when that happens. Right now, Bill is in the process of putting, I keep wanting to call it the dresser. It's gonna be used as our dresser, but it's actually what called a credenza. Yep. Putting the credenza together, he put the armoire together last night and it came out so beautiful. I can't wait to show you guys. I am just in love with it. So how do you think it's going so far? Good. How long do you think it took you to put the armoire together? I don't know, about two and a half hours. Yeah, it took quite a while. And I think this is getting pretty close to the same amount of time. It's probably going to be pretty yeah. close. So right now it's just kind of a disaster in here. We have pieces just laying all over the place. But... The good news is, what, do you think you're more than halfway done? Yeah, I think so. So that is just a little status update. Um, how do you think it is to put together? Do you think it's pretty easy? or? I think this one's easier than the armoire. armoire. Yeah. You think this is a little easier? Yeah. I'm so excited. There's not too many pieces left. And it's like I said, it's just a disaster in here. So just there's pieces of styrofoam everywhere. Look how adorable this little baby Starbucks sample is we got. We got these when we came into Target. It is so cute. And it tastes delicious. What kind did she say this was? Uh, double chocolate chocolate chip. And it tastes amazing. It's so cute. We also found a new cotton candy candle. Let's see if this one smells any good. Okay. Going around the corner. Let's see if this smells like cotton candy. Ooh, it does. It basically just smells like the sweet spun sugar can. Look at these shower flip-flops we found. I thought these were really cool. They have the little holes in them that are hearts. Do you want to say hello? Hello. <laughs> right now we are at Hobby Lobby and we're in the aisle of mirrors. Say hello. Hello. And they already have a bunch of fall stuff out and I am so excited for fall. Look what we spotted. It's Prickly Pete again. It says happy fall, y'all. I want to show you guys these really cute pumpkins. They're sparkly and they light up. I want to get one of these. Look how pretty that is. But it's $40 and I don't have a coupon and it's not on sale. So 
they're already starting to get their Christmas stuff out. They always get their Christmas stuff in really early here. Look how cute that is. See, that's where I get saying cute all the time is from my mom. She always says cute and she always says little. Do you guys see who that is pulling up? If you guessed UPS, you are correct. And I am really happy because today they are delivering my new bedding. And I'm really hoping that it is going to look as nice in person as it did online. So fingers crossed. So here it is, my new comforter. I'm getting ready to open it up and put it on the bed so I can see how it looks. Here is a picture of what it looks like. Since I got new bedding for my bed, I decided it was time for some new pillows. So I'm going to try out these Serta won't go flat pillows because I always have a problem with my pillows going flat. So I'm really hoping that these are going to work out and they actually won't go flat. And I think the little sheep on here are just adorable. Hi guys, so right now I am just sitting here waiting to hear from Pier 1. I called them this morning to see if my nightstands were in because they were supposed to come in today. And they said that it looked like they were scheduled for delivery. They were supposed to be on the truck and they were unloading the truck right when I called. So they said they were going to call me back and let me know if they were in. I'm really, really hoping they are because I'm super excited to get them. And I'm sitting here with Muffin. Do you want to say hi? Sitting here with my baby. And it is raining outside today. It's really nice. Lately, it has been such nice weather here. It's been in the low 60s. It feels like fall weather, and I love it. It's like perfect sweatshirt sweater weather, and it feels amazing. It looks so pretty outside. I don't know. I'm one of those people. There's a bunch of dog slobber on the window. I don't know if you can see because my dogs like to look out the window, and they put their little noses and their tongues all over it and slobber all over the place. I'm somebody who loves it when it rains outside. I just feel like it's really relaxing. I also wanted to mention, lately I've been getting a ton of questions about this bag right here. I've had this for almost a year now. And I bought this from Daily Look, and I think it was right around $50. And I'm pretty sure they still have this on their website if you guys are interested. Like I said, I've been getting a lot of questions, and this is my favorite bag. I love that it's nice and big, and it holds all my stuff. And I just love it. I also have one in mint that I get a lot of questions about. That one I got as a gift, but I believe that one was also from Daily Look. I'm sitting here watching The Price is Right. I love this show. And they're spinning the wheel. That is my favorite part when they do the wheel spin. She almost got a dollar. I want to spin the wheel. Anyways, I am going to go, so I will talk to you guys later. We got the nightstands, as you can see, they're right back there. I am so excited. I've probably already said I'm so excited like a million times, but I really am excited to get home and put them in the bedroom. We just got home with the nightstands. I'm so excited, and as you can tell, it is still raining outside. There's Molly. Say hi, Molly. Here they are. I'm really excited to put these in the bedroom. Are you as excited as I am? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy that it's raining out. I think the birds like it too. The only assembly you have to do on this is you have to turn the knobs around because when you get it, they're facing like the opposite way. And then you also have to go ahead and screw the legs on, which we are in the process of doing right now. Well, actually, Bill's doing it, right? Yep. Not going to lie. He's the one doing the work. There's Molly. Hi. Muffin, do you want to say hi? <coughs> I'm getting ready to make some of these Funfetti cupcakes and I'm going to be using my new KitchenAid hand mixer for the first time ever so I thought I would just kind of show you guys and let you know what I thought about it. And then I wanted to get the Stars and Stripes cake mix for the 4th of July but they were sold out. They only had the frosting so I just went ahead and got the Funfetti cake mix, the regular one, and then I got some of the Stars and Stripes frosting along with the sprinkles so I thought well I'll just go ahead and make it work.
using my new hand mixer and let me just say I love it. I feel like this one mixes a lot better than my old cheapy one that I've had for like six years. I don't know. Maybe it's just my imagination and I just love this mint color but I feel like this one works way better which it probably should because this is KitchenAid brand and it's pretty pricey so I was hoping that it was going to work better. Now I have to move on to the part that I hate filling up the the cupcake papers. I recently picked up some new items from the drugstore so I thought I would go ahead and show you what I picked up. So first of all I picked up some of the new Maybelline Baby Lips. These are from the new Crystal Collection. I believe there were six of them that came out but I only picked up four of them. I really didn't care for a few of the colors. I picked my baby lips up from Walgreens and I think they were $4 and then they were also on sale for buy one get one 50% off. So with buying four of them it ended up working out to $3 each. I think out of all of the collections that have come out so far, these definitely have the prettiest packaging. You guys know that I am a sucker for cute packaging and I love how they look so shimmery and pretty. As I'm swatching these, you'll be able to see that these are quite sheer, and I also wanted to mention that they're not super shimmery or anything like that on your lips, it's just more of a subtle shimmer. Out of the four that I picked up, I would have to say my two favorites are number 140 Pink Quartz and number 150 Mirrored Mauve. Next I picked up two of the Maybelline Color Elixirs. I've been wanting to try these for a really long time, I'm not sure why I haven't tried them sooner. And again, I think that the packaging on these is gorgeous. I'm always a sucker for pretty packaging. This first one is number 85 Hibiscus Haven, and when I first saw this one, I thought it was really pretty, but I was a little bit scared of the color. I thought maybe it was going to be a little bit too bright for my taste, but it actually ended up turning out to be a lot more sheer than it looks inside of the packaging, so I was really happy about that. The other color I picked up is number 100 Petal Plush. In between the two, I definitely like the hibiscus color better. It definitely stands out more on my lips. I feel like the Petal Plush kind of just blends in. I picked up two of these mini Revo lip balms from Dollar Tree. These are minis. I'll show you what a full size one looks like so you can see that these are the little minis. These are so cute and a lot of people mistake these for EOS lip balms but they are by the brand Revo and you can get them at Walgreens. I picked up one nail polish. This is one of the Revlon Color Stays. These nail polishes are seriously so amazing. And this one is in the shade number 50, Passionate Pink. And I actually have this on my nails right now. The last thing that I picked up was one of the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Powder Foundations. I've been using the liquid foundation and the concealer and I have been loving those so I decided to go ahead and get the powder that matched that foundation.
Hi guys, so right now I am taking a little break from editing a vlog video and I could not resist showing you how cute Muffin looks. I was sitting there editing earlier and she just came in and kept nudging me and kind of whining like she wanted me to pay attention to her. So I brought in this butterfly chair and she's been sitting here with me for the past two hours and she just seems really happy. Just really content sitting here with me. Muffin, do you like editing with me? If only she could do the work. So right now I'm editing a vlog video. I'm almost done. I think I've been editing this video for three or four hours. Sometimes it just takes a really long time depending on what clips I all have to edit. Oh, and it's so cute. Say hi. I think she likes sitting in this chair. Her tail, I don't think has stopped wagging the whole time. Anyways, I probably better get back to editing so I can get this video up for you guys. But I'm going to go, so I will talk to you later. Say bye, Moth. Say bye!